Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this today's video is just to take a quick brief look at um, the Brawlers Guild in World of Warcraft. And as you can blindly see, I play as Horde predominantly. I am about to start playing a, uh, an Alliance Druid, but ugh, not keen on it. Anyway, uh, I've been playing this game since it pretty much came out. Um, if you've noticed recently, all my videos are based around World of Warcraft. Mainly because it's what I'm playing now and I just want to share my interests with the world. And also, I've got a playlist you'll see where I'm literally trying to film every single dungeon and raid and just brought it on there. No commentary or anything, just stupid backing music so you can just chill out and watch it if you want with the timestamps at the bottom so you can just skip straight to individual bosses if you want to see them. Now anyway, back on course. The Brawlers Guild, I've always kind of ignored because I assumed it was a uh, PvP related stuff. Um, but my brother finally managed to drag me in here after he'd been banging on about it. And it's completely different from what I expected. It's kind of like an instant zone within Ogrimmar. No, it's kind of in the northeast. I forgot what it's called. Valley of Honor, I think? I, don't know, I forgot what the name is. I'll have to look in game. But yeah, it's an instant zone. Um, and the idea is you all basically take it in turns to fight a specific boss for your rank. There's, I think there's ten different ranks and so many battles per rank so you can rank up and whatnot. It's just you versus the monster. No one else helping you or anything. And there's a two minute time limit as well. So if you haven't killed them in time. And they haven't killed you in time. Basically the arena fills with lava. And you die that way. So. And what is funny is. Um, you'll see. Everyone else can actually watch you. Fighting said monsters. Um, which is a bit nerve wracking at first. But you kind of get used to it. Uh, so yeah. When you come in here. All you have to do. Is speak to one of the guards. Sign up. They'll say you're at the back of the queue. Uh, it depends on what times I like. Because uh, the busiest times I've seen like 12 and 13 people in the queue. Uh, which, it does go quick. Because some fights are over instantaneously. Because some bosses have got one hit kill mechanics. And if people don't know they come in that happens. But it's just a really good thing to do. You can earn brawler points and unlock gear and things. And there are certain achievements. Um, but it's, it's actually just good fun just to mess about with. You can't be bothered going out level and come here. There's a little goblin you'll see that you can place bets and actually earn gold that way. Um, and if you think the monster's going to win the next fight or if the player's going to win the next fight. And they're accumulative as well. And there's actually an achievement for getting 10 bets right on the trot, which barely ever happens. There's always someone that throws an easy fight for some stupid reason. And what you'll see here is the first fight you'll come to. Uh, most people do this on the first attempt. Um, it's straightforward raid bear sort of thing uh, but it does have one little gimmick um, there's a certain move it does which one hit kills you which you'll see at some point it does pretty much do to me but I've got luckily I've got a talent which uh, saves me from death so I've kind of cheated this one a little bit I have played this a lot more since then um, but yeah it's just <laughs> it gets kind of nerve wracking when you're doing it because even if you know how to play your character and everything, the fact that everyone's around the edge watching you, cheering you on, shouting random things, it is funny. Um, and we've spent hours and hours and hours in here. It just... And what, strangely, I've actually spoke to more people in here as we've been talking about how to do certain fights and even just taking the mick out of each other. I spoke to more people that way and they've invited me onto mythic runs and everything than I have at any other point in the game. But it's just at least people are just... just Standing around having a laugh. Um, and there's no real big put downs if you get your ass kicked. Because I died a few times to a goddamn penguin. Um, which I'm not sure if I put in this video or not. But basically, it's just a penguin flapping on its belly and bounces towards you. It doesn't attack you at all. You think, oh yeah, easy fight. As soon as it gets anywhere near, as soon as you hit it, it bounces back. If you keep hitting it, it bounces back to the end of the arena. And if you go anywhere near it while it's at the end, it one shot kills you. Uh, yeah, and he kept killing me repeatedly. But yeah, I just it's one of those things. I think you should go and check go and check it out, even if you just go when it's quiet and just try it on your own. Because sometimes if you come in really early, no one's actually there. And it's just really good. Some of the fights you see are mental. But I don't know how certain people do it. But it's just one of those things. I don't know. I'm, I just want more people to be involved. Typically on this this um, server I'm on. I think I'm on Silver Moon at the moment. It's a very, very, very Alliance heavy server. 
themselves. There's not as many hoarding here as probably you'd see on the Alliance side if you saw their arena. You'd be a bit more, I'm assuming it'd be more chock a block and busy. But yeah, and you also, there's like a little totem you can click on. So I actually put you in your arena so you can get a better view like this. And there are certain group fights as well, actually. But they're only very, very specific. Um, basically, when you queue up, you can spend some of your coin to invite, when it comes to your turn, it'll drag everyone into the arena for one big mass brawl like this. But you have to kind of spend gold for that. So it's a bit more few and far between. But some of them are crazy. Um, and of course, if you do actually do this fight, it's um, good fun as well. So yeah, I'll um, I'll leave this running in a minute. But if anyone's got any ideas, any videos, suggestions, or anything, please give me a shout, and I'll um, I'll try and take them on board. Because um, I'm still trying to focus mainly on Warcraft at the moment, because that's where my, my passion really lies. I just love doing the old raids, just one or two man from me and my brother. I just try and see how far we can get. And also, I'm trying out the Raid Finder as well at the moment. Which I've always been kind of been put off because I don't like the random dungeons where everyone just runs for it. No one explains anything, it's horrific, the whole thing. Oddly, Raid Finder's completely different. Well, providing you go into DPS. You queue up, sometimes it's like about 10, 20 minutes, something like that. Oh, here's the lava I was talking about. Yeah, you queue up, basically get in, um, and as long as you're not a tank or a healer, I'm not sure how they designate who's doing what. Um, you literally just follow a pack of 20 odd people around and you just hit stuff. Because um, what they do, you can play... Cause it's always kind of bothered me that, because I've never been in... I've never had the time, especially not these days, now I've got a fiancé and trying to move out and everything. I just haven't got time to run home and raid for four hours straight. But Raid Finder, luckily, because it knows it's a pickup group, it lowers the difficulty of the raid a hell of a lot, so it's more manageable. So. Basically, most of the mechanics you can completely and utterly ignore. Certain things, like obviously where it charges, you have to get out of the way because that's just a basic mechanic. If you can't see a giant 100 foot bastard monster running at you and you get killed, it's your own damn fault. But some of the more tricky things, they're not in or they've been toned down that much. You can kind of just self heal through it half the time anyway. Um, so it's just definitely worth having a go because we're done. I'm by no means raid geared at all, I've just done some world quests. Um, yeah, not even done the dungeons really, yeah, the modern ones, because I, I can't be bothered. But yeah, we've done the entirety of the first two raids now, and we're working on the third one. Because um, it splits it up into wings sort of things, so the first raid had three wings to it, and the second raid I think was just two from memory. But each one's about 40-50 minutes long, so you can queue for that, do it, you'll get the achievement for that section. Now you can queue up for the other part later on if you want, so you can kind of do it in three stages. And it's really good, it's just good fun. Easy gear, I actually got my first uh, legendary from that. Uh, so I suggest, even if you don't like people, don't like playing with groups or anything, just try them. It's a damn sight better than the dungeon queue tool. Because I've, I've still never done most of dungeons, I can't be bothered with mythics, because I cannot be arsed trying to learn with elite assholes. Oh my god, free chest now! Yo. Screw that. Just raid. It's just fun. Click a button, race on the DPS meters, it gives you something to do, and you can just sod off when you want. And to be honest, if someone drops off midway through the raid, it just automatically puts someone else back in, so it's not like you have to stand around like a tit waiting for ages. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys, um, and I'll see you next time, and see exactly what I mean about the bosses and whatnot. How often do you see a T-Rex riding a shark, firing guns? Not often, I'd imagine. Anyway, thank you very much guys, I shall see you later.